Hi, I'm Dr. Ivor Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Department of Exercise Science and Physical Education to give you a video lab tour of the Exercise Science Lab. So this is going to be a 360 lab tour video, so as I move around the space, feel free to follow me with your mouse or by simply moving your mobile device. All right, so this is a two-room lab space, so it's a conjoined lab space with this mobile wall here in between. This wall can be folded back all the way in order to make it one large lab space or folded all the way out to make it two lab spaces, kind of like what we have here today. All right, so right now we're in room 4005. This is primarily the movement science side of the lab, uh, but we do have a, a series of Monarch bikes up here in the front that are used for exercise testing as well as just uh, regular exercise bouts. If you look in the corner of the room here, we have a Biodex uh, dynamometer. So this is a brand new system as far as, well, I should say it's been recently updated. Um, and it allow, allows us to do uh, skeletal muscle testing, so isokinetic me measurements, isotonic measurements, power measurements, that sort of thing. So if we move over here, we have an iLink2 uh, eye tracking system. This system allows us to do uh, measurements of where your eyes are looking at any point in time. So it's continual measurements of the, tracking the pupil and the iris of the eye. So we can see how long you're looking at an object, how long you're fixating or gazing in order to uh, find an object in a room or to process the environment around you. All right, so if we move towards the front, uh, this side of the room over here, you can see we do have a um, projection system as well as chairs and tables. So we have here a um, virtual reality system that can be used in order to create uh, virtual versions of the outside world. And then you can use those virtual systems or those virtual reality uh, worlds in order to then test what would happen within a lab setting. All right, so if you look down towards the ground right now, you can see two yellow uh, force plates that are embedded into the ground. These are there in order to be able to uh, track which way you're pushing off the ground, how much force you're developing, so uh, ground reaction forces as you're walking, running, etc. cetera. All right, so coming over to here, we have a 3D tracking system. So this 3D tracking system um, now on my, my right side is capable of uh, moving, well, capable of watching you as you move in space. So it can look for joint angles, velocities, those sorts of things. And this is an electromagnetic system. We're currently waiting for a camera-based system to come. It's already been purchased. We're just uh, waiting on it to be delivered. Uh, another thing that's also going to be coming soon that's already been purchased, just waiting on the delivery, is a, a brand new electromyography system or an EMG system, which is capable of looking at the uh, electrical activity of your skeletal muscles, which is how the muscles move, so we can get an idea of how the muscles are contracting from that. If we look into this corner of the room, we have our resistance training equipment. So we have a variety of dumbbells as well as uh, Olympic plates, barbells, um, a bench, and a squat rack so we can do a variety of different types of uh, weightlifting and free weight uh, type exercises. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead over to the other side of the room and I'll give you the tour of that. All right, so now we're on the uh, physiology side of the lab. So this is room 4007. All right, so up at the front here, we have two different power lab with lab chart software systems. So this is capable of measuring continuously essentially anything that you can plug into the device and get an analog signal out of. So anything from continuous blood pressure to heart rate to skin and core temperature, uh, as well as force production. So we have all those uh, pieces of equipment that we can plug in here at the, the lab um, already. So in the corner here, we have an ultrasound machine. This is, can be used for doing uh, internal investigations of the human body without doing anything invasive. So we can look at muscles, we can look at joints, um, and what we oftentimes do with this is look at blood flow through veins and arteries. So you can do that with this as well. Over here, we have two electronically braked cycle ergometers. All right, so this one particularly is the Velotron cycle ergometer. It's a brand new one that we just got in. And with this, we can do uh, regular exercise bouts, but we can also do wind gate tests and other power tests with this. Uh, so it's a really flexible piece of equipment. All right, moving on here, we have two treadmills on this side of the room that can be used. Um, we also have, in between these, we have the Viasis uh, metabolic cart. We have two other metabolic carts as well, but this system is really great for doing resting energy expenditure as well as exercising energy expenditure and uh, a measurement called a VO2 max, which is the gold standard for measuring aerobic fitness. Moving over here into the corner, we have an electrocardiogram cart. So this is uh, also known as ECG. 
and this can be used for doing uh, both resting ECGs and exercising ECGs or stress tests. All right, so this looks at the electrical activity of the cardiac muscle and lets us know how the cardiac muscle is functioning, whether it's functioning normally or not. All right, moving to this side of the room, you can see we do have a, a screen on this side that can be used for small group discussions and small group lectures. All right, so it uh, helps us use this for both research and teaching spaces. In this side of the room, we do have two doors that exit the lab. One goes to an exercise biochemistry lab, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. And the other one goes to a body composition lab, which I'll go ahead and show you right now. All right, so this is room 4007A. This is one of our body composition labs. Um, so right here we have a bioelectrical impedance analysis scale. So this sends a small weak uh, electrical signal through the body and measures body composition or body fat percentage from that. Um, over here we have another uh, body composition assessment um, piece of device or device. This is a hydrostatic weighing tank, also known as an underwater weighing tank. So essentially somebody goes into the tank, goes underwater, and we weigh how heavy they are after their body starts to float a little bit um, from their body fat. So again, two very good non-invasive measures of body composition. We do have one more lab space, which I'm going to show you, that has uh, another piece of equipment in it for doing body composition assessment. So let's go ahead and go to that now. All right, so this is room 4101. This is our other body composition lab. And here we have the bod pod, which is uh, capable of doing body fat percentage by essentially having the person go in in minimal skin tight clothing. And we are able to measure air displacement with this. And from that, get a really nice measurement of body fat percentage. All right, so now we're gonna go into the last space in the exercise science lab. All right, so this is room 4009 in the exercise science lab. All right, this is the exercise biochemistry area. So we can do a variety of measurements in blood and urine here. Um, hemoglobin, hematocrit are some of the easy ones. We also have the ability to do uh, blood and urine electrolytes um, and also blood lactates, uh, blood lipid levels, and blood glucose levels. Besides the equipment that we have in-house for doing immediate measurements, we also have a plate reader and we have a spectrophotometer over here that can be used for doing a variety of kits. Uh, so whatever kits you can buy online to measure pretty much anything you could want. Um, in order to do all this, we also need to be able to spin the blood down, which we do have that ability. So we have a variety of centrifuges here. So we have a microcapillary centrifuge, a microtube centrifuge, and a regular tube centrifuge that has cooling abilities. All right, so that's the end of our tour at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab. So thanks for watching our 360 video tour, and please come back and see us on our website.